Welcome to this Just for Self Report video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to use parameters using query. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. For this demo, I'll be using a new table. For that table, I'll be using products with these uh, three fields here. We have the ID product ID, and product description. Let's start. Start with going to create a new project. Okay. So for our project, I'm going to pick or select this one just for reports project. Hit next. For project name, I'll be naming this as products. And finish. After creating our project, going to create a new file and going to select this just for report. Same goes uh, for this demo. I'll be using this blank A4 just for our, uh, for us to fully understand. So we're going to start from blank. Then going to select our project, and from here going to name this one as products and fish. Okay, cool. So now we have a clear visual of our, or a blank report to begin with. Now, before we're going to start, uh, better going to clean up something here. So let's say, because uh, there's a bunch of here, which is I don't want to use. So let's say going to clear or by deleting this title. Okay. Then going to remove the page footer column footer and summary okay so this time i'm going to let our only uh, keep these three sections here the page header column header and the details so let's start so for now okay okay so let's begin last time I create a data adapter. So if you missed that video, uh, please uh, watch that episode wherein I created a sample connections. So I'm going to edit this one here. Okay. So this is the connections that I use uh, from a previous lesson. So for this day, uh, demo, I'll be using TB sample as our database and our authentication. Same goes, I, in the last demonstration, we use this uh, jar pod to install our uh, for our JDBC connections. So please watch that. So if your everything's okay, then let's proceed. Uh, but before that, let us check first our table. So by the way, I'm using HD SQL. So this is a pre-ID if you want to experience a uh, ID. So in here, I demonstrate or create it a table named products and we dispel. So this time we're going to display this one. So let's start with right click, select the product or the, the report name from here, then right click, click data set and query. something I think my windows is updating okay let's move this a little closer 
Okay, from here, uh, select the data adapter that you're going to use. For me, I'm going to use this one because this is the connection that I set. Then, we're going to pick that database. So this is the DB sample and the table. I'm going to pick the products. Okay. So, to do that, in setting up a parameters, uh, make sure that you have a basic knowledge of SQL query. So, to begin with, let's uh, call this product using simple query by simple typing as select all from products. Okay. And then hit these read fields. Okay. Once you do, make sure it display here. So if everything's okay, there's no errors, then click OK. So to demonstrate, I'm going to drag these fields here. That starts with product ID and product description. So let's move this up. Okay, let's name this as product ID. And this is product description. Okay. So let's expand this one. So let's pick this one. Let's say let's move this to the center and both. Let's increase the height. Let's say all right, 14. And this one here, let's say going to increase this one. Let's say 12. And going to expand. Okay, let's preview. And there you go. Okay, so let's finalize this one. Uh, for that to fix the gap or the white space, we just uh, we need to compress the section. And we hit preview. And there you go. So this is now our product information. But to complete this one, going to add a static text. Going to paste it in here. Okay, so that this will be our title for this one. Let's make it center. So let's say, let's call this as product, products, okay, so let's make it center, make it bold, and a uh, pot, let's pick as 24, up, oh, so much big, let's say 20, and there you go. Okay, so that's clear. So that's final preview with that. Okay, so good. So that's uh, that's good for now. So now let's demonstrate on how to use parameters. Parameters can be used uh, in many ways, but the most common, let's say, uh, we need to click uh, click these parameters here. Let's say going to create a parameter by uh, selecting right click, create parameter. So let's say I'm going to rename this as okay. Let's move this a little closer. Let's name this as param inputs. 
Okay. Now, when you write a parameter, make sure uh, if it is a query or a value input, make sure you need to specify about what type because this, that this relies on what type of input that you're going to receive. So let's say I'm going to input a string. Okay. Now, from here, let's say I'm going to drag that here. Let's say, let's say just put it somewhere. All right. So let's say let's do it like this way. Okay. So if we preview that, okay. So this is how, uh, how uh, inputs performs in report. So let's say I'm going to type this as my inputs uh, just for this time. And there you go. So one way of uh, passing a parameters is not directly from using query. So this is one way. So if you're making a program to pass uh, parameters, so you can also apply it in this manner. And also, so instead of that, going to delete that. We're going to use these parameters. Okay, so here. So we're going to apply these parameters as a query. So to do that, so that's param inputs. So in our products, right click to that and click data set and query. So from here, uh, you need to apply the basic query. Let's say select all from products where uh, for this field product this uh, let's say I'm going to use like like percent and the name of the field or the value that you're going to pass but since we're using a parameters so let's pass a parameter okay in between here so so make sure we know the name of the parameter so let's say I'm going to post this one first. And from here, I'm going to pass these parameters. Let's copy that. And from our products, let's go back to that query. So here, we're going to pass that in this manner. So let's try once more. Product percent. Okay, so there's a problem with this query. So let's simplify this one. Okay. Okay, good. So uh, let's read again. Okay. So there's another thing here. If you are passing a parameters, it doesn't matter because it won't detect an error as long as your query is correct. So like this one, I'm passing a string. So I enclose that with a string and with this person, uh, percentage as parameter. So let's click OK for this one. Now let's try. Let's run a preview. OK. Now let's uh, check first our table so that we know what we're going to query. So in here, I perform a sorted one, two, and three. So since I'm using like, so let's say I'm going to pick this uh, third uh, third row here. So I'm going to select only the three. So instead of typing a sorted, so let's say three, then enter. Oh, so document is empty. So let's okay, let's hit with our design and preview. Okay, so it means that there's no value. So let's try again. Let's try with the other query and preview. 
Oh, the blonde. Okay, so that's. Okay, so let's check again our query. So our possible, our problem is within the query itself. Oh yeah. Okay, so I found the problem. So from here, okay, since we're dealing with parameters, uh, make sure we need to indicate the, or add the dollar sign. So that's the parameter. Now for most cases in a query, uh, if you're using especially light or other some stuff, if the normal like this one would work, I would suggest to make it an unbound parameter so that it will not treat as a string. So to do that, we need to add exclamation after P. Okay. So like this one. So yeah, so let's try this one by clicking read fields. Okay. So if there's no errors or pop up in this section here, so which means our parameters is okay. Then click, Oops. click OK. So let's start. Okay, from here, okay, let's go back to our table. So I'm going to pick this description. This is a sorted tree. Uh, this is a sorted tree. Okay. So, uh, Okay, so this is a sorted tree. So I'm going to pick this this one. So from here, instead of typing a longest word, I'm going to type three, then enter. Okay, and there you go. So once more. Okay, so let's try once more by clicking this arrow here. So let's say I'm going to pick one. Okay, so if we're going to pick nothing, okay, so this display everything. So, but if we're going to pick something that was not in the list, so let's say four. Okay, so that's document em uh, empty. So if I if I input a sorted okay and there you go. So that's it guys. So that's okay. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, this is how you perform a parameters using as a normal variables and also with a normal query so the requirements for this one make sure you all you know the basic uh, sql query so as long you know that approach applying same approach in our report uh, the same goes okay so that's it if you found this video informative don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe see you guys on the next video series cheers